In this video, I am going to walk you through how to get an IV3 connected to a Compact Logix PLC using a generic Ethernet module. Before we jump into the PLC setup, there are a few settings in IV3 Navigator that need to be adjusted. As you can see, I am currently connected to an IV3, and the first thing we're going to do is go to Advanced Settings and the Utility tab. Here is your field network for communication unit protocol, and as you can see, the default is disabled. We need to hit settings and go ahead and enable Ethernet IP. We're going to leave handshake control and byte swap both disabled and hit OK. And it will tell me the system will have to restart. So I'm going to proceed and hit OK. This will take just a minute to reconnect to the sensor. All right, so now my Ethernet IP is enabled on the IV3, so we can jump back into the PLC side. As you can see, I just started a new project, and the first thing I'm going to do is right click and select new module. And in the search bar, simply type in generic Ethernet module, select the module and create. So here are my module properties. And the first thing is the name. I'm simply going to name mine IV3. And notice that this name does need to match the tag file that I import later on in this video. Next, I'm going to change the format to data-int. We do recommend using the integer format for the IV3 as it sends its data as 16-bit. Then we need to type in the IP address for the IV3. My IP address is 172.19.102.248. And lastly, we need to fill out the connection parameters. To find these parameters, you can reference this IV3 to control logics setup guide. And on page six, step nine, it lists the parameters necessary for our integer format. So as you can see, input is 100 with a size of 250, output is 101 with a size of six, configuration is one with a size of zero. So, so here I'm going to type in 100 to size of 250, output is 101 with a size of six, and my configuration is one with a size of zero. Simply hit OK. And next, you can change your RPI accordingly. I'm going to do 20 milliseconds and hit OK. Now you can see I have my IV3 controller tags. However, there are no descriptions for any of my bits, so I need to import the tag file. To do that, simply go to Tools and Import Tags and Logic Comments. Go to where you have your IV3 tags saved on your PC. If you don't have these, they are available on the Keyens website. And notice that these are the integer format to match our module properties. Hit import. And now when I expand my input assembly, you can see the descriptions are all here. And if I expand my output assembly, you can see all of my output descriptions as well. So now I need to go online with my PLC. And download my new program. And so now to show that we are able to trigger the IV3 and read the result, I will do a side-by-side -side with the IV3 software. So here you can see the IV3 is waiting for a trigger. If I go to my output data 0.0, .0 we can see that is my trigger request bit. So I'm going to simply turn this to a one. 
you can see my IV3 take a picture. Now I'll go ahead and put in a no good part and I will toggle this bit to a zero and back to a one. And we can see it took a new picture here. If I scroll up to my input assembly, my results are going to be in my data two. So data 2.6 is a one. And this is my overall judgment no good bit. So you can see it's properly able to trigger the IV3 and read that result back. If you have any additional questions on how to set up the IV3 with your Compact or Control Logix PLC, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.